Darlings! Welcome to Vlogging with Carrie's Spooky Edition! <gasps> yes! <laughs> Today we're gonna be watching another movie. It's a Halloween spooky treat. It's a comedy. I picked this movie myself. It has the David Harbour guy from Stranger Things and my queen, Jennifer Coolidge. It makes me want a hot dog real bad. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jennifer Coolidge and David Harbour. They're both great. They're both funny. Um, I, I'm so excited to see them in a movie together. And this movie is called... We Have a Ghost. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? It's a sexy ghost. <laughs> Actually, David Harbour is pretty hot. So, like, I believe David Harbour does play the ghost in this. Uh, he, he is a gorgeous man. He... He's a daddy, <laughs> so I'm excited. And Jennifer Coolidge is just fantastic all the time. I love her. She is a gay icon. I wish me and her could be best friends. <laughs> I would love her. Um, but yes, I am excited to watch this movie. It is a comedy. It's a great step up from watching Arachnophobia last, uh, because that movie, I think I had like three mental breakdowns. <laughs> oh, gee, I, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, they, I did get Steven to buy me pizza, though, and that, that made up for it slightly um, because, you know, that was horrible, cruel, and unusual punishment. Um, so, <laughs> pay up! <laughs> uh, but I'm so excited that you're here to watch this movie with me. I'm looking forward to having a laugh. Uh, with all of you. I hope that you're all doing fantastic and bubbly. And with that, my darlings, you know the drill. <gasps> Get comfy. Get your snack. And let's watch. We have a ghost girl. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I'm flying. This is so cool. Bye. Oh, it's a house. Oh, the moon. That moon's huge. Uh, huge. I've never seen a moon that big. Why is everyone screaming? Oh my god, everyone's just running out of there. <laughs> this is like, uh, what do you call that that movie where they had to leave their house? Because like, a lot of horror movies were like that, actually. Poltergeist, this that kind of thing happened. Oh my god, everyone left. We have a ghost! Oh, it's a ghost, just a ghost. I love it! That's cute. Oh, the house is getting old and torn down, girl. No one wants to live there. One year, that was one year. Holy crap. One whole year in the house looks like it. it's been not occupied for like years and years and years. Hello. <laughs> well, I know it's a little rough, but nothing a little landscaping couldn't fix, right? This poor family is going to move in here with all this asbestos. <laughs> what about this porch? Girl, that porch is ready to rot. Look at this place. Original everything. Original everything. Yeah, exactly. It hasn't been taken care of for years. Okay. Let's see. Oh my God, it's going to be horrible. And there's going to have like nails and... Spiders, Ugh, spiders after arachnophobia. God, no. Everything okay? Oh, she's like, how, how, can, how am I gonna sell this? <laughs> she's looking like, how am I gonna sell this to these people? These guys gonna be desperate. Cleaning Look at this place. Until Tuesday. Look at this place. That's all that gorgeous. This place looks crazy. Where's Kevin? I used to be oh, Kevin is like, no, I'm not going into this place. No way. He's like, I'm not going in there. Are you crazy? Come inside. Do I have to? Everyone's like, hell no. Yes, you have to. Poor Kevin. Someone's gonna steal their car. He left that window open. <laughs> this is starting to look like that house from, um, It. Tons of closet space. Girl, this place. How did this place turn into this in a year? In a year. This place looks like it's been occupied in, like, years. I mean, I know it's a fixer-upper, but... Girl, it's a major fixer-upper, honey. You're going to have to spend that money on the house and then more money, exact the same amount that you bought the house for, to fix it. Hell no. Nothing, like, bad happened here, right? <laughs> My gosh, no. Holy smokes. They're going to fall through the floor. Had this all happened in one year. They're crazy. That lady's lying. This place looks like someone would be murdered in it. It's going to, like, walk up there. It's going to be, like, a ghost orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a little eptoplasm. <laughs> oh, ghost humor. Sorry. Girl, this attic. If you clean it up, we can make it cool. After you get rid of all the whole, like, spider family that's living in there. Okay, this is giving me a freaking Amityville girl 
it's the freaking beacon of like evil or whatever. Oh my god, that yard, honey. Look at that spider hole. That's a black widow girl. I've seen him. I've seen enough spiders. <laughs> Oh my god, my balls finally dropped. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just I just left it wide open, literally. Oh my god, oh my god, his arm. Oh, what's his? That guy's brave to put his arm through a spider webbed hole. And then at least ask him to wax first. <laughs> Gosh, that lady, she's just fallen in the bush. I think we're gonna move here. Your parents are gonna move there. Yep. Buyer's market's tough. Can't afford these houses. They're a billion dollars. He could, they could start a band. She could play tuba. He could do the electric guitar. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, girl. This place is going to light on fire from the like, bad electricity. Nasty. 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 Oh, my God. That is exactly what that must be like. I mean, I... <sighs> I'm so glad I'm getting married. Like, I, I don't need, I, I, I can of only imagine what that must be like to like do something like that, like Tinder, where you're like, swipe left, swipe left, swipe right, swipe right. Oh my gosh, it's like, just like a meat market. What the hell, give me my phone. After dinner. What's his problem? The other guy's on his phone on Tinder, but he's not getting in trouble. I mean, they're okay with his, like that, that, that guy, his son checking out Tinder and like the kids just chilling, listening to music. You'd rather listen to some old white dude play guitar? Terry Kath is one of the greatest guitarists of all time. Terry Kath, one of the greatest. That's not true. Wow, his dad's a jerk. Jimi Hendrix is the greatest. Oh. It's a fact. Ask anybody. Wow. That's the guy reading a book for dummies. <laughs> oh, snap. He read, got read, and now he can't fat. You want to dish it, girl? You better be able to take the heat. I'm sorry you're so unhappy. Oh, dear. Now, we're all here trying to get a fresh start. How many fresh starts are we at now, Dad? Yeah, so give me my phone. Gosh, I, he's like, so I'm guessing the other kid's his favorite, and this kid knows it. Can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen, or whatever that is. Or if you're in the kitchen, make yourself something to eat, then get out. <laughs> or stay there if you're still hungry. <laughs> like, hi, I got my iPhone. Okay, so you better not come out at me, honey. Okay, I got the power of technology. This phone cost me more than this house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's David Arbor. That moaning mm, baby. Oh, ah. <laughs> oh my God, he's got dandruff or something. He's got a lot. He's got flaky skin, girl. That is that's 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 psoriasis, girl. You need you need some body lotion right now, like girl, and keep that away from me. <laughs> no, 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 don't go. He's depressed him now. He feels embarrassed. Uh, I see the ghost. He came out nowhere. He had dandruff and some sort of eczema. <laughs> Most entities have been displaced by trauma. Who's this girl? Yeah, you. The neighbor? I'm gonna guard the door for a sec. I need to smoke in the bathroom, okay? Guard the door. Some racist douchebag wrote my number down. Why don't you just change your number? How'd they get our number in the first place? How clutch this number is? 222. Two, two. Poop. Numbers that good are like impossible to get. <laughs> My family just moved into the house next to yours. You moved into the house of death? The death house. Oh, sounds sexy. We should hang. I have to study. Oh my gosh, really boring. <laughs> I guess you know my number in case you change your mind. Is he in, in the woman's locker room? Or is it cheese and men's? Okay. You there? Hey, hi. You hide it behind the boxes. Real original. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, stop. It's not happening, bro. My personal life is like a thousand times scarier than this. I see the ghost. Sit down. Sit down, daddy. Although, I mean, David Harbour with a bald head like that. Girl, that's a little... I'm not sure. I'd have to shave the head. Whole head. Shave it. Just shave it. Just shave that. <laughs> shave that. With a shaved head in um, Stranger Things, and he had a gorge, even though he was like dirty and covered in blood. <laughs> Can you talk? Just moans and groans. Oh. <laughs> Did you like die here? It's like, what do you think? I just hang out in this f***ing house. You don't remember? Can't remember. Uh -huh. Do you remember anything? 
He's like a depressed ghost. It's Ernest, right? Ernest. Oh no, he's stupid. We just saw Ernest scared stupid. This is Ernest literally scared dead. <laughs> I'm Kevin. Oh my gosh. So trippy. Oh wow, he touched me. I know where you can put that ghost fist, baby. <laughs> we can't touch you, but you can touch us. Oh, yeah, he can. Kind of like a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. But yes. We know that every atom, every molecule... I gotta go online and learn about ghosts on YouTube. But what happened to that human energy... Oh my gosh, it's Tignataro. When the body dies. Oh my gosh. See the beyond. <laughs> yes, Jennifer Coolidge. She's, <laughs> she's a medium. You she's like, yes. Hi, ghost. <laughs> I think she's doing this. <laughs> That's funny. I love her. What are you doing with my phone? Oh, no. Fulton, give it to me now. Fulton, gosh. Uh, you two knock it off. We have a ghost. Look. Hey, this is pretty good. How do you do this? Oh, David Harbour's being discovered. Be famous. Oh, we gotta show mom. No, 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 no. She'll freak out. You know this. Mom's gonna have a shart. She's gonna freak out. She's gonna be packing up her pots and pans and her Louis Vuittons and she's outie. <laughs> we don't mean you any harm. It's me again. This is my, my dad, Frank. My brother, Fulton. <laughs> Fulton. It's not a normal, like, I've never heard that name before. Fulton just seems like such an, a different name. Like, it's Fulton. It's like a full tin. Like a tin full of something. <laughs> oh. Ah, Ernest. Your head's glowing, Ernest. <laughs> Frank! Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice! She's like, why is this Frank? Look at you. What are you doing on the internet, girl? That's our house, right? Trying to make money online, not invite me, girl. I'm. What? Oh. What? She's gonna faint. <laughs> I like her face. Her face is like. <laughs> see, it's all thing when people like freak out and they see go have ghostly experiences. I bet you the goats are more like they're like, whoa, Betty, <laughs> this is getting crazy. I'm out. Yo, is this for reals? Who's for the show on a coin? <laughs> oh, Jesus! Hi! Nah. Oh, we got TikTok. Mom meets Ernest. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Everyone's doing it. <laughs> Everyone's doing it! <laughs> and I just did it too, which is hilarious. Ernest is fine. Ernest is fine, girl. Ernest, yes, baby. Oh, yes. I dream last night that Ernie impregnated me. Oh my god. Like <laughs> potato with hair. Run into a wall like Ernest. Oh, oh, oh my god. Ernest challenge. Really? Oh my god, it's so true though. This is what happens. This is the internet. Oh my gosh, and then people get viral for doing this kind of thing. That woman called again. Leslie? Agent Chipley. Oh, Christ. You saw this, right? No clue. It's an RHE. This one's real. It's real, girl. It's a Ringo. We gotta get the army involved. We gotta bring all the guns. Oh, the guy. Yeah. He's real. He's real. Central intelligence. Yeah. Oh, what's up? oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys are gonna be rich beyond your wildest dreams. Oh my gosh, it's Jesus. It's Jesus. This is a private Frank. I love her. I love her. Who the hell's coming to my house? <laughs> Today to get in. So we tried to climb down their damn chimney. <laughs> Girl, that was crazy. Uh, Memory loss is connected to trauma. It's a bunny. You know, baby. Little bunny baby. It's okay. You can hear everybody. Oh my gosh, yeah, his dad's like cashing in. I help you? Because you're stuck. See, that's why he does it. He just wants to help him. He doesn't want to get famous off of it. That's the whole thing. We're too much in a world where people are trying to cash in on the spirit world and actually just help the spirits that are there or communicate with them normally. Hey, neighbor. How's the ghost? Our whole street's show thanks to you guys. My dad has the tow company on speed dial. <laughs> he gave everyone towed. <laughs> what are you working on? Uh, oh my God, that shirt is amazing. Trying to see if Ernest actually lived in our house before he died. He doesn't remember how he got there? Nope. Mystery. I love her. She's great. Oh. Like, let me figure this out, okay? You're going too slow. Look at her go. Wow. Like a hacker. Holy smokes. 
Look at her go. Ta-da! Mystery solved. Ernest Scheller bought the house April 5th, 1965, 1971. How did he die? There's no death certificate. What's like a dead end? Puns. <laughs> so funny. And ghost humor. <laughs> Hold on two butts so I could do that. Oh my gosh. She's gonna be like a fake medium and she's gonna like see a ghost or something for the first time and lose her mind. No more rest home readings. The food always sucks. <laughs> I loved it. Rekulin, she's so funny. We're really excited to have you in our home. You're time. a gem. You're a gem. You really are. Oh, and you're cute. <laughs> you're like, hey. Where's the wifey? He's somewhere getting ready. Good. Lock her up because you're mine. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make sure that he's ready for me? Oh my gosh. Ernest. Yes. <laughs> She's fantastic. I love her. I'm ready for him. I'm ready for him. <laughs> <laughs> See? Ew. That's the kind of vibe you gotta work. This or all. Make him come back. He's not your laptop. He wants to cash in, girl. We gotta go. Let's get the cameras. Put it on YouTube. Let's make money off of it. It was only a matter of time until everyone started cash, trying to cash in on the spirit world. <laughs> I mean, people have been doing it for years, technically. We'll be right down. So it gives real mediums and psychics and clairvoyants the bad rep. Don't you want to be Kim Kardashian? <laughs> He doesn't care. He just wants to be friends with the ghost and help him. He's actually in it for the right reasons. Ready to have some fun? Let's have some fun, Ernest. Are we rolling? <laughs> so, Frank, is he here now? He's just shy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I just love her. She has so much facial expression. I love it. Ernest. Ernest, please come out, Ernest. We need to make money off of you, Ernest. Oh. It's gonna happen. It's Ernest. She's like, hey. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, he's trying to be all crazy and scary. This is gonna make them like bring all those ghost hunters in here. This place is haunted. Let's see if we can get it to spook us. <laughs> and then scream at it and run. Whoa! My bags! My bags are coming! <laughs> my eyes my eyes! I thought maybe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the silencer is like, we're just here because we needed to get paid. I gotta get out of basic cable. <laughs> so unprofesh. <laughs> so unprofesh. Uh... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's not even a phase by it. Oh my gosh, that's so creepy. This is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> you gross, gross, gross. Oh my gosh, she doesn't even care. You again. <laughs> Tupac is better. She is just like totally believes he's fake. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ew, ew, whose arm is that? Where'd it come from? Uh... Ew, it's so cool. <laughs> she just started her pants. <laughs> I ran out the window. Did she kill herself? Did she die? Did she die? Oh my god, did she become a ghost with him? That'd be freaking hilarious. If she becomes a ghost with him, I am gonna be so stoked. <laughs> Amazing. Joy, are you losing your mind? No, but prepare to lose yours. What is this? Is it a death certificate or something? <gasps> Ernest Scheller isn't dead. That guy used to live in your house, though. Who's our Ernest? Hmm. But I bet that guy knows who he is. They're gonna go find him and find out who he is. See, they're trying to help this guy. That is the whole point. Figured he'd remember something. <gasps> <gasps> sorry, she said. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. It's just this is. A thing that's actually happening. It's like Chella. I mean, it would be like a sight, obviously. We need to get you outside. Have you tried? There aren't any answers left in this house. Ernest looks like the kind of guy that died on his couch after eating a TV dinner. Maybe he choked on a piece of turkey. <laughs> Frozen turkey or something. What happened to you? It's out there. See, he's trying to help him figure himself out so he can move on. We're not talking to the press. Wow, forceful much? Just a few minutes of your time, if I may, please. Oh my gosh. I was recruited by the CIA. Our field paranormal psychology Our orders to find and apprehend a ghost. I thought I to find it. it's ghost hunting. Like, like the people act like the spiritual world is somewhere off or totally different. It's right in front of us all the time. <laughs> it's everywhere. Oh, it's everywhere. Like, it's right here. Like, under, it's it's weird to me. Sorry. I think the word term ghost hunting is so strange to me. I'm just, like, 
We're not hunting wild boars. <laughs> Why are we hunting people? Our entities of other people. That are people, actual people. Or something that's not per human at all, which is not not a good idea. It's the scare factor. It's the thrill, I feel, at least. The thrill of the, the hunt. <laughs> the ghost hunt, I guess. Then along came Ernest. So he's got all his merch's shirt and everything. This poor guy. Poor ghost. Poor Ernest. I'd like to see him. That's not going to happen. These entities, they are dangerous. Very uneducated person. Then come back with a warrant. They may present kindly, but they are never who they say they are. That is true to a degree. A lot of spirits out there will say there's something just to get people comfortable with it so it could move closer to them. 100%. Definitely believe that. But not everything out there is dangerous. There's a lot of entities and, and spirits out there that are just people who have passed on or like entities that may have not ever been here, but they're but they're good entities. They're not dangerous. But there's a lot of darkness out there and a lot of evil stuff. I totally do believe that. Uh, and that's the stuff I think a lot of these ghost hunters and stuff go, they run into a lot of. I've, as far as I've seen, I'm sure they've run into some spirits, I'm sure, that are actual spirits. But a lot of the time, these dark things, they're doing these things and scratching people. Those are not, those are something totally malevolent or like um, not human. As I say, not human is not born a human. They're harboring a terrorist. I need receipts for that. They'll make a mistake. Careless people always do. What is this? Like, ghost mafia? And when that happens, we'll be ready. Are they gonna put him in there? How is that? Tic-tac-toe on the floor. It's, it's Twister. That, remember that game Twister? Where you had to be like, left hand on the red and right hand on the blue. <laughs> <It's Ernest! laughs> oh my god, they're all chasing him. Run, Ernest! <laughs> okay, I don't understand why a ghost needs to run away. Girl, you're a ghost. <laughs> Ultras, the whole lot of them. They can't go in there. Run. <laughs> he finally did a ghost move. Went through a wall. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I just came to work and <laughs> I was like, God, it's... Oh my god. Uh, screw taxes. Get the hell out of Dodge, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's tattoo parlor. This guy's gonna get... Oh my god, no. No, 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 I'm not tattooing. He's gonna screw up the tattoo. That guy's gonna be paying for that cover-up. <laughs> or can you just make yourself invisible? Why didn't he do that sooner? <laughs> I could have avoided the whole thing. Do you know this guy? He used to work here back in the day. This place has had over a dozen owners. Can you just look at the picture, lady? Gosh. There. Who's that? There is a connection. I knew it. Oh my god. Oh, it's him. The ghost over there. Oh, do you have a kid? Ernest, what's wrong? We had a kid. He's remembering something. Aww. The kids gonna be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> See, this one thing. I think that's what happens when ghosts like interact with people, and then people start screaming. The ghost is probably like, <laughs> God, they have it. Yeah, girl, run, run, girl, girl. They got laser guns, honey. Look at this. <laughs> this is like literally. This is what we're spending our tax dollars on. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, this is literally a SWAT team trying to catch a ghost. <laughs> this is how future ghost hunters are going to do it. <laughs> I got a gun, you better show yourself so we can get this on TV. Oh, I need to make merchant money. Get here. <laughs> Ting Totoro and her gun. Which actually, Ting Totoro is great. This is a character is crazy. <laughs> what the hell is that? Ghost Nebula 2 million. To the records I found, Scheller lives here, just outside of Tulsa. That's far. We'll make it. Yes. Appreciate the optimism. <laughs> <laughs> you look different. Happy. Being an outlaw suits you. <laughs> oh, he's got a crush. I saw that coming a mile away. That's always happens in movies. The guy falls in love with the girl because she's there and available. I guess the scene is. The sunrise. It's so pretty. Why'd she be like a vampire? Catch us on fire. <laughs> then it's like the wafting smell of like cow manure comes up and they're like, eh, let's go. <laughs> and the movie's over. <laughs> I saw that coming too. It, oh, this is such a movie cliche Netflix thing. The guy always falls in love with the girl and then there's this awkwardness. And at the end, they're like, yeah. <laughs> All's well that ends well, girl. <laughs> 
It's so common. And uh, Disney's the worst for that, though. The worst. I see it all the time. It's because they need cis hetero people to watch. <laughs> There's too much spirit mumbo jumbo, so we need to add some of this in there so the heteros will watch it. <laughs> the ones that are crazy, I'm talking about not doing anything against hetero people. I'm talking about the crazy ones that are like, There's ghost material, I'm gonna ban this movie. That guy looked at that other guy weird. It's gay. <laughs> I'm the one if you see anything suspicious. They found the person. Well, it's just gonna be like taking the I was gonna open the door. What are you doing here? We caught you. We gotta go put this ghost in the box. Are you Ernest Scheller? I'm I know who you are. Come in. Can I find out where Ernest came from? That's my wife. Suffered a stroke last year. Can't really do much these days. Mm -hmm. I really can't believe this is real. Oh, oh, they're a friend. His name was Randy McGovern. Woman next to him was my wife's sister, Evelyn. Oh, brother-in-law. What happened to him? After Evelyn died, Randy sort of fell apart, I guess. Mm. And one day, he showed up at our house with little June. Said he had an appointment, needed us to watch her. But he never came back. Oh, so something must have happened to him. Somebody like that, abandoning their own motherless child. I can't think of a greater sin than... No way, he wouldn't do something like that. He was trying to protect her. Maybe something happened and he, he got well, he probably got involved in something. My God. The feds are here! That's crazy that this, they're doing all this for a ghost. Like, an entity. Like, they're everywhere, literally. They're still stupid. <laughs> They're going to use their Ghost 500 to capture him, probably. I see it coming, yep. <laughs> it's crazy. It looks like a freaking, like a Dyson. Whoa. That's a government. Hmm. <laughs> this is like acting like this is like the first time they've ever kept, like, we're, of all the work that they ever did, they only come in contact with one. That's crazy. <laughs> one spirit the whole time. <laughs> this, is, this is absolutely heinous. It makes no sense to me, but okay. They're acting like he's like like the only spirit that ever. Why? That, that another question for me too is how come he's the only one? There's probably thousands, uh, millions, billions of other spirits. I have been waiting for this moment for so long. Girl, you could have saved yourself a lot of time, but he just gave her COVID. <laughs> Stand down. I'm good. Ah, uh, there she is. Everyone's trying to capitalize off of one spirit. Please, please, just take a look. What are you gonna do with him? Well, he's dead, so whatever the hell we want. This could never happen. People are too busy fighting over who is more important, what people can be, who they are. We're too busy with other stuff to ever even get even close to what they're trying to do. <laughs> We're capturing ghosts and putting them in boxes that we miss high tech stuff. We can't even, we can't even stop global warming. It's raining. Well, who's this person? Oh, creeper. Face me, please turn towards me. I said, turn around. He doesn't care what you have to say, dude. What are you gonna do, kill him? <laughs> comply. I said, comply. Oh, he's remembering. Oh, he loved her. They were kind of mean. <gasps> oh my God, they murdered him. But why? Why did they murder him? Oh my God. That's <laughs> a crazy ass turn. Oh, poor Ernest. He got, he's not even named Ernest. He remembers now they can't do anything to him. Yes, girl. You're a ghost. What are they going to do? Works on the living, too. Tina Taro, man. She's going to be in part. This is how the men in black got formed. <laughs> or not the men in black. <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> men in black. Then we find an alien. Maybe. You never know. We're like, we, you know what? We should take it even bigger. We should, like, go for the aliens. Oh, God. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. You're totally toasted. This is how all horror movies start, honey. This is how all of them happen. You didn't put that together? I missed this house. Oh, ghost. 
This guy is totally wasted, stricken, whatever that is. Ish. Gonna try to clean up his loose ends. So I just get mafia or something. I don't know anything, I swear. You're lying. You came after me. Oh dear. Oh girl, he's unhinged, honey. Lying. Frank the tank, get down there, baby. <laughs> Frank's gotta go save them. He's got a gun, Frank. Oh, Frank, I don't know if you're gonna make a henny. He'll get shot and die and become the new ghost of the house. And then he'll be the one being on display. <laughs> oh my God! Stay here. Where'd you get a crowbar? What's that? Is that vacuum cleaner? <laughs> oh, snap, look at this, this is crazy. It's Ramona's idea. You couldn't have kids of your own. Oh, they want to steal the kid. I didn't want her, she made me. She made me kill that man, even though she wasn't there to do it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna fight you. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. He's Tostito Dawn, girl. Yeah. Oh, honey. He's gonna lose some teeth. He's gonna get a new teeth. Oh my God. This is becoming real crazy. Ah! <laughs> Can I him? Oh my God. <laughs> Run away. Maybe, maybe, maybe um, Jennifer Coolidge's ghost. Maybe she died and she's gonna be there and she'll be like, I don't think so. <laughs> However, she talks. I can't do hand work cooler. Some people can, and they're great. I can't. Oh. Well, that wallpaper would kill me. <laughs> right? Watch this kid has to... I think I'm pretty sure Ernest, or whatever the hell his name is, is going to come here and mess this guy up. Oh! Oh, snap. Look at this. This is, like, this is literally turned into a horror scene. Girl, if you get hit by that thing, it's going to freaking hurt. Oh! Oh! Oh, that sounded terrible. You just gave him a killing weapon. <laughs> no, David Arbor's there, girl. He's like, no, not today. He's gonna push him out that window. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Wait, you're already dead. <laughs> I'll keep trying. <laughs> yeah, see, you just wanna kill him because that's not very great. I mean, how, how much energy would that ghost need to be able to knock someone out like that? <laughs> That'd be insane. And then you come back. Ernest, you're back! I gotta be rich! Oh dear. The dad's gonna die. Oh. Oh, he killed that guy. He's dead. Oh, honey, he's. Oh, God, is he go his ghost gonna appear there? So, Ernest's body is buried there somewhere. They need to dig his body up so that he can get put to rest properly. Oh, Mama, there's someone dead. He's dead outside on our porch. We're gonna move. 100%, girl. And that was it. What really happened, Kevin? They're trying to protect him, obviously. Unless he didn't pass, move on. Like, where are they? It's beautiful. Wherever they are. Maybe they brought his body to an actual place to so he could go and be at peace. His daughter. Oh, that's gonna be so cute and sad and sweet. She's gonna learn to talk for the first time. And from what I can see, she's gonna be right along there with him pretty soon. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Daddy. How much eptoplasm you'd have stuck to you? It'd be like ghost eptoplasm would just be like, peel off. <laughs> be so gross. I mean, spirits don't really honestly disappear. They just are no longer stuck in one but they're moving on from the unfinished business they have in order to really live. Oh my gosh, who used the Thanos hand? God damn it. Now what? Look what we got. How unfortunate. <laughs> Look out, some other people. <laughs> it was Tig. It was Tig Dutaro. She did it. She's like, you know what would be really funny? <laughs> we got it. We have that in the locker. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. I don't, I don't I see it. This is what this really makes me funny. He's already a spirit, so now we mean his spirit is now being destroyed. What's gonna happen then? I mean, he was already to go invisible, anyways. This makes no sense. <laughs> this makes no sense. He's already a spirit. What is the spirit doing? Okay, now I can finally become half. I, I was only half a spirit, and I was half alive. Jesus is snorting me. <laughs> is that what's happening? What a shitty thing to happen. Like, you know, you finally move on and you're like, yes, I can go live. Oh, wait, now I'm turning into space test. I'm already a spirit. That was hard enough. Now I'm a space powder. Incredibly slowly, by the way. Would you imagine having this happen? This take forever. Okay, come back in like three hours. I think it'll just be my head left. 
<laughs> this makes no sense to me. I'm sorry. L I fish food. <laughs> I don't really think I'm down with you not being my neighbor anymore. Oh my god, they're gonna kiss. If they kiss, it's gonna be so cliche. It's going to kill me. Inside. I'll see you in my car soon. Okay. God, it's so uncontrollable. But I really think you're attractive. Come here, baby. Yep. I called it. I called it. This is always in these movies. Always. <laughs> I don't understand it. And people complain that the gays are taking over movies. <laughs> and everyone's gone. We only were here for a short while, but now Ernest is part of the lights. And that was the movie about the ghosts and the things. And <laughs> we have ghosts. <laughs> I just, I, I, I found parts of it funny. Okay, I don't, can't say I liked the whole movie because I, I honestly felt like it went off to a really weird place and I just never came back from it. Uh, <laughs> my one thing is, if ghosts are in purgatory and his purgatory is there and he's able to show himself to people, wouldn't there be a bunch of different like spirits? Why was he the only one and it took them years to find one? Give me a break, girl. <laughs> a break. I mean, <laughs> some of the stuff. I, I really do like that it it did touch base about the the goat. Like, I don't want to come for all ghost hunters. I I really do think that there's some really good people out there who are doing this and they're spreading. They're like very very decent people and and I don't want to come down on on all of the ghost hunters out there. I just think the term ghost hunting to me just sounds weird. I think we really need to like the the, the idea needs to be reinvented. Like, I, I just don't think, like, you're not hunting, like, are you really out there hunting spirits? What are you going to do when you catch them? It doesn't make, it doesn't sound right to me. It doesn't make sense to me. I prefer something different. Although, you know, I think a lot of the people who post, like, stuff on, on the internet um, that are quote unquote ghost hunters, a lot of the people are just there for the, the, the shock value, I feel. They're not... You know, like, whoa, the door moved, whoa, whoa. Could you imagine being a spirit there and someone comes into your location and like messes your shit up and then and then screams in your face and then leaves <laughs> after recording to record you? <laughs> girl, girl, no wonder. <laughs> Some of these spirits get mad. I, I don't blame them. Although it did really show that people are really trying to cash in on the spirit world and it's a big thing. And I see this a lot too, you know, and it's, 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 it's unfortunate. I feel like there is real, like, they're like the mediums are out there and people who are very sensitive are out there, you know, and and they're all they're trying to do uh, is like, you know, they want to help the spirits or help people, you know, in any way that they can. And I feel like it gives uh, sensitives a bad rap and it's unfortunate. But I, I guess that again, I believe that there are some people out there that do do are like, you know, ghost adventurers, I would say, like, or enthusiasts, <laughs> ghost enthusiasts, I would say, Ent entity enthusiasts who uh, are out there and like, and, and they, they do create decent content. And I, and I, I do like one particular is uh, Project Fear. I really like that they have a great, great show great content uh they're very respectful people very real and i i trust them i i, I don't think they're full of bull i don't think that they're going out there creating fake propaganda or fake uh, fake things just to get uh clout or to make money off of it I, I i followed them when they were on the um the travel network and they had a different name than i oh my god i can't even remember because i'm so destination fear was their old one i think it was and they are i like them i think they're great i, I think that they're really really down to earth i'm talking more about people who like, you definitely we, we all know groups of these people who are like out there and they're just creating content for clout like they're like saying, oh, the door moved over there with someone slamming it. You know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of that, and I see it a lot. And people are just trying to cash in on it. And and a lot of these people too it can be very disrespectful. And like when you see it, you see people going into these places and they just don't care if someone's like, oh, don't touch that. They do it anyways, uh, and just for the just for the show of it. Um, I think that that puts me off quite a bit. Um, but as I was saying, as I went off about this, <laughs> sorry, it was triggering for me. Um, I, I felt like I, I loved Jennifer Coolidge. She was fantastic. Jennifer Coolidge, and she could do anything, and I would love her. <laughs> I love her. She could play a hot dog. I would be totally cool with that. I'd be like, girl, yes, work at <laughs> your sexy hot dog, honey. <laughs> David Harbour uh, is fantastic as well. He's great. He's such a daddy. Oh my God, he's such a daddy. It doesn't matter if he's got a comb over or not. He's a daddy. <laughs> I did like that I was saying, oh yeah, he's a daddy, and then every Everybody, like on that part of the TikTok thing was like talking about it and they were 
just re it saying what I was saying just as I was saying it, which I found it was really funny. <laughs> that part was funny. There were definitely funny parts about this, and then there was parts where I was just like, what is going on? Like, when we brought in, like, the Men in Black type of thing, where they're, like, with the ghost guns and stuff, I felt uh, it took a weird turn, and I wasn't really sure. You know, it didn't really make sense. I mean, obviously, it didn't really make sense in the beginning. But, like, I mean, I thought, you know, some other people are going to become ghosts or whatever, or you're going to see more. It was just him, and that didn't really make sense to me, because there's billions of spirits out there, billions of entities who have passed on who are out there. There's a lot of entities, too, who have unfinished business, who are stuck in place is kind of like like David Harper's character and I felt like it was kind of weird because you would see a lot more of it like it wouldn't just be one and like these people are like I searched for like 25 years for just for you and I'm like girl you are looking in the wrong place like, it's everywhere that is to me it's just I always feel like we as people always believe that the spirit world is some in some far off place or it's like a totally different kind of thing like you know we, we don't connect it to being reality but it is reality it's all around us constantly and it is real like you know these experiences do happen uh and i believe that it is more like closer to us than we 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 think it is i feel like we it's easy to detach it because and make it into something a lot more large it is large and it is it is i mean but i feel like it's closer to us than we think i think that a lot of the time it's easier or to place it in a compartment over there or like assume it's in a totally different world but it's not we we it's just i believe it's all around us we just don't we can't physically see it with our own eyes but we can feel it and i and i'm sure a lot of people have had experiences that like that uh and uh, that's kind of my opinion yeah <laughs> did I like the movie? I did. I thought it was good. Um, I just found that halfway through, it kind of took a weird turn. And it didn't really come back after that. And I felt like parts of it were predictable, like the lovey-dovey, the son and the girl. Obviously, the girl is there for a love interest. And and they're having their, like, teenage romance. And at the end, I called it. I knew they were going to kiss. And they did. Well, I'm so sick of it. Like, can we just have a story where that doesn't happen? And it's just, like, real? Like, come on. Why did we always have to put a woman in a thing where the man has to fall in love with her like what is that it's so it, it's it drives me crazy and I, I i as soon as that happens in the movie it literally just puts me completely off but all in all it was a cute movie i really liked that they helped david harbour i didn't really understand how a spirit can become dust after it's already dead like okay you're you're in purgatory so now you're like halfway a spirit or something and now you're turning into space dust and now and then, uh, if that didn't add up to me either. <laughs> Let me know down below what your thoughts on this movie were, what stuck out to you, what you found funny, uh, what you were confused about or didn't make sense to you. I would love to hear uh, your comments about this. Thank you so much for watching with me today. Please like this video if you would like to help the Vlogging with Carrie family grow. And also please subscribe. If you are not yet so, so, so be good. If you are not yet a subscriber, <laughs> I would love to see more of you. And with that, my darlings, I will see you next time. Okay? Alright. <laughs> bye bye.